Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to share just a little project that I had going on here in my home. I think that it's so nice when we have little projects to look forward to and to work on because um, it just gets us really motivated and we love to see the finished result, right? I am one that just loves before and afters. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to the Inspired Daily to make the everyday beautiful. I am making over this room a bit that was my daughter's room for just a little while. Um, it didn't work out and um, it's just better that she's not in this room anymore. But um, anyway, this room used to be my office. That's when we started this fixer upper, this is the space that was going to be dedicated to my office. Well, since then, since all the time I have spent in my office, um, it never had doors on it. Now, more recently, we had put doors on it to make it an extra room, but it also has the exit to the home in it, and um, it just needs to be able to be opened up to make sure that we can all access the back door. So I have decided to use this as more of the breakfast room because we love to just, I found that we love to be in a smaller space, especially with breakfast. If we're entertaining guests, like last night we had some friends over and all the adults got to stay in this room. We got to talk for a long time while the kids, you know, played and just had their fun. What I'm going to be doing today is just finishing the baseboards really that need to have a fresh coat of paint put on them. My husband has some finish, finish work that he needs to do because he had to build this wall out a bit more and to be able to fit these small doors. So it was a five foot opening and now it is a four foot for these, for the French doors. And um, he has a lot of work to, to still do. He needs to texture the walls. He needs to repaint, or I can, whichever, but they just need to be finished. We have some chair rail on the inside that needs to be caulked and, you know, just all sorts of little finishing touches. We have some holes in the wall, etc. But I want to do what I can do right now, so I'm going to be doing the baseboards. I just think it's so nice to have um, baseboards that can be cleaned and that look nice and fresh. So if that's something that you find that you um, skimp on, especially if you don't, you know, wash your baseboards, um, making sure that they are a washable paint is, I think, number one, because there's nothing like trying to wash baseboards that are either they have never been painted or they're painted a flat paint that just makes it a lot more difficult to get all of the dirt and um, anything marks you know that if people kick the walls or whatever happens to them but mainly it's dust settling on them that um, I find to be a real issue. So. so what I'm going to be doing first is taking down these curtains they really need to have a good wash um, there's I just see spots of I don't know what is all of this, but I know that this is definitely from the dogs walking past here. So they get those things pretty dirty. And then of course I have some baseboards that need to be painted. I feel like I painted, yeah, it, these were painted, but they just look dingy. Sometimes it's time to, you know, repaint and that's okay. So um, I also have sections over here that, maybe never got painted, that's what it looks like to me. And then of course, the back of the doors need to be painted as well. So this is going to be quite a project to do, but I have today to do it. And this is something that my husband's going to be finishing as soon as he gets home. This is something that I don't want to have in here, but I did bring the little buffet, well, it's not a little buffet table. Ideally, I would have a smaller buffet table in here for this space but when all of these extra chairs are out of here um, it doesn't feel like it's too crowded or anything um, I would also like to do something different up here but these are what I have right now so I'm just 
you know, finding a place for some of these things that I don't know what I'm going to be doing with. But I do like to have a mirror on this wall because it reflects the light. It just opens it up a lot more. It would even be nice to have a third mirror there if I do just layer that for now. So I'm always on the hunt for a beautiful mirror with detail. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to be finishing, I'm going to be looking for new knobs for, for this table and eventually I'm going to refinish the entire table because I'm just, I'm ready for something that looks a lot better and to put a, um, a shine on it so that I can wipe it and whatnot. But for now, let's get all of this stuff out of here.